you so much for honoring me and inviting me on such a nice platform to guide the students today's session on spirulina health benefits and exploring the scientific entrepreneurships so very nice topic uh, uh, when i discuss with the dr lawrence sir yes uh, we need to just guide our student how can we uh, convert our scientific knowledge into our entrepreneurship or startup so as per our last uh, discussion last week and we finalized this topic uh, spirulina health benefits and exploring the scientific entrepreneurship so it is a very popular uh, quote by linus pauling as you know optimum nutrition is the medicine of tomorrow it's really exactly then the it is a nobel uh, he he is a two times nobel prize winner dr linus pauling and he's declared a uh, nearly all disease can be treated to a nutritional deficiency it is a, exactly a, a very correct sentence or statement by dr linus pauling uh, eat highly nutritious and alkaline foods that was the a statement of you know the well uh, popular uh, father of medicine that is the uh, hippocrates of course you know so he tell that nature is the healer of disease so the according to the hippocrates the father of medicine let the food be the medicine and the medicine be the food so let's up uh, i will give us some introductions about the spirulina what is a spirulina exactly and little bit history about the spirulina a spirulina is a microalgae which is a spiral shape that's grow naturally in the wild in a warm and fresh water lakes it is a blue green algae dried spirulina contains approximately 60 to 70% proteins vitamins a b and k there are multiple benefits of spirulina it has a powerful antioxidant anti cancer and anti inflammatory properties it is also effective against anemia and controlling the blood sugar owing to all these properties spirulina is considered as the today's super food as you are all the biologist some of the people are microbiologists biotechnologists botanist and they may know about the spirulina so spirulina origin and what is the biology the first photosynthetic life form was designed by nature in 3.6 billion years ago the blue green algae cyanobacter is the evolutionary bridge between the bacteria and the green plants it's contained within a, it every thing life need to evolve this immortal plant has renewed itself for billions of year and has represented itself to us in the last 30 years spirulina has 3.6 billion years of evolutionary wisdom coded in its dna beginning in 3.5 billion years ago blue green algae created our oxygen atmosphere so other life could evolve since then algae have helped regulate our planet biosphere algae are two thirds of the earth biomass thousands of algae species covering the earth are being identified and developed for foods feeds pharmaceuticals biochemicals fertilizers and biofuels so what is algae the microalgae are sold as a food and a feed supplements the for example chlorella it is a green algae spirulina blue green algae aphanizonium a flos aqua it is a blue green algae adenelia a red green algae hematococcus green algae and cyzol trichomes it is a marine microalgae so these are some pictures and photographs of the different algae which are used in a use as a food and feed supplement so what is exactly spirulina so there is lots of question in your minds if uh, those are not belong from the uh, biology so what is a spirulina so does spirulina contain antioxidant the answer is yes exactly it is a probiotic food yes but it is a nutraceuticals yes that's true it is loaded with the phytochemicals yes all kinds of phytochemicals are present it contain compounds like phycocyanin polysaccharides and sulfates that enhance the immune systems this superfood has the most remarkable concentrations of functional nutrients ever known in many foods plants grains and herbs on top of this spirulina deliver the more nutrition per acre than any other foods on the planet this has extraordinary implications for more efficient and less damaging food productions for the future so what is the history just we will discuss the history of the uh, spirulina where the first spirulina was uh, discovered and how it discovered in 1940 a little known journal published a report by french phytologist uh, dangiard on a material called dha eaten by the kanembu people near lake chad lake chad is the one lake which is in the central africa 
डीहे हार्डन केक्स ऑफ सन ट्राइड ब्लू आर की कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द शोर ऑफ स्मॉल पॉन्ड्स अराउंड द लेक चार्ट डी इज द वन कम्युनिटी ऑफ सेंट्रल कम्युनिटी ऑफ पीपल हु यूजिंग द सच काइंड ऑफ केक्स ऑफ सन ट्राइड ब्लू अगेन अलगी कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द शोर्स ऑफ द स्मॉल पॉन्ड्स लाइक लेक चार्ट they had also heard this same algae populated in numbers of lake in the rift valley of the east africa and was the main food for flamingos living around those lakes so flamingo you know it's a birds we they basically found near the lake and the, some peoples are also using a such kind of uh, cakes of the blue green algae and the uh, flamingo birds are using as a food uh, this kind of field now this is a chad lake which is the central of uh, africa and this is a one uh, uh air image of the lake and so the some people of the uh, there by the chat, uh, lake chat they collecting the spirulina from the lake the two uh, decades later in 1964 the botanist with the transaran expeditions jean lenard notice a blue green algae growing in the wadis that is the pools that form the northeast lake of the chat after the rainy season He then come across a curious blue green cakes in the native markets of Fort Lamy. It's a in a, in a chart. When locals said these cakes come from the areas near Lake Chad, Lino recognized the connection between the algal blooms and dry lakes sold in the market. So he observed such kind of lakes uh, cakes in the market, and he just uh, identified and recognized the connection between the Lake Chad and the market. He observed that seventy percent of the food of the cannabio. was accompanied by the sauce made with these dried cakes so they are the peoples or the lady who are collecting the spirulina from the lake chat and drying it and see was used that kind of cake as a food in 1964 the first spirulina pioneer emerged around the world the rediscovery of the ancient life as human food has great implication for us now in the 21st century a new planetary idea often incorrect through many messengers this was a true with spirulina hubbard deron chastel encouraged the soda ash company to set up farm in lake tux uh, texcoco in the 1970 century and it became the world largest spirulina farm by the 1918 century he became the senator of the france and spirulina promoter in the world then larry slizer founded protis in 1976 and was joined by robert henk henriksson Alan Josby and Ronald Hensons. This team began spirulina cultivation in the California Imperial Valley. In this demonstration, farm led to the founding the Earthrise Farms in 1981, which became the world largest spirulina farms by the 1990 century. Then Danipon Inc. and the Chemicals of Japan established the Shem Algae Company in Thailand in 1980. Former DSC President Shikakuni Kawamura and Takemitsu Takashi. their long time spirulina sponsor heading the program was mr spirulina in japan hedenori shimastua is a dsc and protis farm authorized farm in 1991 then in the early uh, 1980 century sinote began the spirulina production in hawaii and growers in taiwan emerge israelis indian and european scientists conducted the cultivation research others focus on the village scale operator technology farms notably dr uh, richley de fox and dr cv sesadri so dr cv sesadri he was the first person who bring spirulina in india is more uh, most contributions in the spirulina uh, promotion in india dr sesadri spirulina began selling in japan and mexico as a health food and especially fish feed in the late 1970 century in the united states of america it was introduced in 1979 through natural food store and network marketing by the early 19 1817 then the marketing algae as specially food supplement was picking up momentum the san francisco examiner articles in 1977 published just close your eyes and show introduce spirulina as a food for the future so there are the various contributions of the different uh, people throughout the world for the promotions of the spirulina let's see the what is the spirulina and uh, what are the nutritional qualities of the spirulina so the most for uh, a popular species of the spirulina plantis is there are many species of the spirulina but spirulina plantis is the very popular and safe uh, species of, uh, which is used as a food spirulina is a spiral shaped cyanobacteria that uh, thrives on the alkaline waters does it studies reveal 
spill not to be the most dense complete source of the nutrients in the planet uh yes uh, this is a uh, dr christof he is called as a father of spirulina then a world wide spirulina campaign is organized by the uh, some or, uh, organization in the world uh, that is the united states nation iimsaf the intergovernmental institution for the use of micro algae spirulina against the malnutrition is uh, its uh, headquarter and it is as united states of america new york and uh, initiatives taken by the dr uh, sorry uh, obama and his uh, obama and uh, iimsam envisions raising the level of nutrition and improvements of the public health through the spirulina it is a, a micro algae abounded in the essential proteins minerals and vitamins that can be easily assimilated by the human body so spirulina preventive and curative aspects and inherited benefits of say availability accessibility and the affordability of the spirulina so it is a world wide recognized uh, species and world wide recognized uh, natural food so iimsa uh, benefactors so they have taken a various campaign throughout the world and they has given the such kind of food to the uh, malnutrition peoples and they studied that before and after uh, consumption of the spirulina and it's very good results uh, of this spirulina as a food and complete nutrition as complete food uh, they observed thereafter the wise spirulina comes considered as a, a top super food that is oceans so it is a spiral ship of spirulina market uh, makes it to capture all the energy of the sun which creates the multicolors of pigments so the spirulina basically it's a green color and uh, it uh, synthesizes various kinds of you know, green pigments like uh, chlorophyll uh, b lutein zeaxanthin and beta carotene lycopene chlorophyll a so there are uh, different types of uh, pigments are also present in a different uh, vegetables but all kinds of uh, pigments which are present in a different vegetables are present in one single food or single species spirulina so that's why it is a super or a top super food we can say so it is the excellent sunlight converter also the spiral shape of spirulina makes it capture all the energy of the sun which creates multiple multi colors of pigments and vast amounts of nitrogen so a single species of spirulina contains a beta carotene which is the orange in color lutein which is the yellow in color chlorophyll which is green in color and phycocyanin which is the uh, bluish in color so as you know they have very good functional health benefits like protections and maintenance of the skin cleansing properties and repair uh, repair of the repairing of the cell properties are of uh, phycocyanin the phycocyanin is the blue pigments the wonder molecules you know Uh, its function is to enhance the stem cells productions proven by the studies to cause the cancer apoptosis or cancer death growth inhibitions repair damaged cell together with the sod it is the enzymes present in the cells and then immune system stimulator increase the natural killer cells and other immune system cells its main function is to repair and regenerate all the our cells so it is very uh, wonderful molecules that is phycocyanin is present in the uh, uh, spirulina then another is the chlorophylls it is a green pigments it is a nature's greatest body cleanser as you know so because of we are taking a lots of green juices uh, from the different vegetables as a, a as a cleanser so these kinds of properties are also present in the uh, spirulina the functions of the uh, chlorophyll as you know it's alkalize that is oxygenate the cells neutralize the body against the acidity superior deoxyfire balance blood chemistry then enhance the blood productions fight kidney damage speed up the repair process of the phycocyanin cleaning the colon and fight colon diseases properties of the chlorophyll then the carotenoids uh, the red orange pigments uh, and as you know it's a cancer uh, cell suppressor and the functions of this carotene is uh, basically beta carotene is there it is stop cancer cell from the multiplying and uh, metastasize geosanthin uh, it is a 400 times uh, more antioxidant property than any other uh, source and it protect the cells from the free radicals a uh, lutein is another uh, carotene is present in the spirulina it's enhance and maintains the eyesight's fight molecular uh, degeneration macular degenerations cataracts and the glaucoma it's very good for the our eye health uh, Ah, uh, then the complete and balanced nutrition. If you say, then the NASA have also given a statement that the only food proposed by NASA and the European Space Agency, that is the ESA, 
to be the astronauts food for long term space missions so nasa declared that 1 gram of that is a four uh, tablets of spirina is equivalent to the nutrients of 1 kg of the assorted balanced vegetables and fruits so that's why it is a very complete and balanced nutrients as per the nasa statements then the more than 100 nutrients and 2000 enzymes are also contained in a such kind of in a spirulina the four major nutrients uh, like proteins carbohydrate vitamins and minerals are present if you see the proteins near about 65% are proteins are present carbohydrate that is ramnases and the glycogens are present near about 20% vitamins uh, uh, near about 10 or 10 into vitamins are present in the aspirina and um, over then uh, 13 minerals are present in aspirina and this is the charts of the different types of essential amino acids non essential amino acids and the total amino acids present in the uh, single species of aspirina then another vitamins uh, like uh, vitamin c uh, vitamins b1 b3 b2 b3 b5 vitamin b6 b7 B8, B9, B12, E, uh, vitamins K and vitamin K2, vitamin D3, vitamin H, vitamin C are present in the, the species. And if you see, if you compare these vitamins with other vegetables available in the market, so it is a 25 times uh, vitamin or the uh, beta carotenes are present in the spirulina than the carrots, and 60 times vitamins B than the fishes. 47 times vitamin b2 as strawberry and 8 times vitamin b3 in the uh, lemons or orange and 6 times vitamin b12 from the beef and 7 times vitamin e than other raw milk so it is very rich in vitamins are uh, rich in minerals also iron calcium magnesium zinc phosphorus potassium magnesium selenium molybdenum ger- uh, germanium boron iodine chromium sulfur and other trace elements are present in the the spirulina and uh, 50 times more iron as uh, than the spinach and the 10 times more potassium than the other vegetables so it is a well known antioxidants also so the phytonutrients and antioxidants are also present in the spirulina the amount of antioxidants in our body is directly proportional to the how long we live we are exactly so that is the statement of dr richard scutler a national institute of aging in washington and uh, as per the research study the Uh, cherries have a uh, then orange and spinach and blueberries are the common source of the antioxidant but as compared to the this kind of um, other foods in the market so spirulina have a huge quantity of the anti- of antioxidant that is a result declared by the orac that that is the uh, oxygen radical absorbance capacity uh, published in usda then after that the f- Uh, other phytonutrients and the anti- antioxidants are also present that is alpha carotenes beta carotenes xanthophylls lutins we already discuss then the other polysaccharide like imulina then calcium spirulina and they are very good uh, viral inhibitor in the disease like flu measles chicken pox h1n1 herpes and aids and uh, top enzymes that is the sod as you know uh, it is present in the spirulina also so the consider as a uh, 3500 times more anti inflammatory power than the vitamin c in a spirulina so rich in uh, uh, fatty acids like a uh, palmitic acid linoleic acids oleic acids stearic acids gamma-linoleic acids and the uh, palmitoleic acids and which is very important in a uh, uh, base milk but then uh, another uh, health or benefits of spirulina uh, which is proved on a research base like uh, Uh, scientific research reveals the health benefits the international uh, directive has has been revealed or revealed that for the of uh, 14 uh, years research in japan china india europe uh, usa and other countries are discovered how and why this algae is effective for human and animal health so hundreds of uh, papers are published and reviewed scientific studies have focus on spirulina how this food its uh, uh, phytonutrients and extract boost the immune systems and improve the health a more complete scientific bi- bibliography and references guide is available in the book spirulina whole foods and spirulina source.com the following summary briefly touches the sum of the important area of the research and finding the spirulina yes it is to stimulate the immune system, uh, immune systems increase the antiviral activity 
offer anti-aging and neuroprotective benefits, reduce the risk of cancer, reduce the kidney toxicity, build a healthy lactobacilli, overcome uh, malabsorption and malnutrition, improve the wound healing, reduces the radiation sickness. They are the research based study and their properties of the spirulina. Other health benefits like reduce the pain sensitivity by inhibiting the prostaglandins and which contributes to pain and inflammation. Remove of heavy metals from the body. Improvement of blood quality and prevention of anemia. Protections of the liver and kidneys. Antiviral properties. Spirulina shows aging cardiovascular benefits including improvement of blood lipids profile, prevention of atherosclerosis and control of the hypertension provide with the phytopigments like phycocyanin, chlorophylls and keratinides. Metallothenin compound like uh, proteins combined with the metals that bind uh, heavy radiative isotopes. It's contains the natural uh, reach in iodines. One of best known source of gamma linoleic acids, GL is present in the spirulina. Then bone marrow and blood health uh, especially during use of the anti-cancer drug is present. Reduce the allergy symptoms, then protection from the damage of the ionizing radiations, etc. So these are the health benefits of the uh, uh, spirulina. Then the support the immune system for uh, people over 50. So new research outcomes to be announced uh, uh, as a US debut study will be published uh, in the March uh, 2012 because he has already uh, published that Kispiruna, its effect on anemia and the immunofunction in the senior citizen. Then after that, it's our antiviral activity also. There are peer-reviewed scientific studies about Spiruna ability to inhibit the viral replications, strengthen the immune systems and cause the regressions and inhibition of the cancer. US scientists announced a preliminary research documenting that water exit of Spiruna inhibit the HIV-1 replications in human derived T cells and human blood immunonuclear cells. Small amount of extract reduce viral implications while higher concentration totally stop its reproductions. The extract seems to be prevent the virus from printing the cell membranes. Therefore, the virus was unable to replicate. Thereafter, in 1989, the NCA announced that uh, chemicals from blue-green algae were found to be a remarkably active against the AIDS virus. These are the naturally occurring sulfolipids proportions of the glycolipids. Sulfolipids can prevent virus from other either attaching to or penetrating into the cell, thus preventing the viral replications. So it is very good antiviral properties. Beside the antiviral properties, it's our anti-cancer effect also. Studies show a beta keratins rich spirina or its extract prevent or inhibit the cancer in a human and animals. Some common forms of cancers are through the results from damaged cell DNA causing uncontrolled cell growth. In USA studies, Spirina extract reduced the oral cancer cells. The beta carotene solutions applied to cancerous tumors in the mouth of hamster reduce the number of size of tumors or cause them to disappear. In India, Spirina reverses oral cancer in a pan tobacco chevers in Kerala. This is the one studied conducted in India also. And Israel studies showed natural beta carotene is more effective than the synthetic one. So this is the a little bit uh, uh, very fast uh, health benefits of the spirulina. But uh, the spirulina is a naturally growing algae, uh, grow in a ponds and uh, water bodies. Besides the health benefits, it's our some uh, side effects also. But uh, the side effects depend on the the quality of this spirulina and how it is cultivated that is most important but besides the side effect it have a very good health benefits so as a botanist or as a biologist we must know the uh, some side effects as well as the good effects of any medicines or any food so uh, the side effects it may be uh, because of the may be contaminated with the toxins the spirulina harvested in the wild poses insignificant risk of contamination the algae may harbor toxins if it's grow in a body of water that's polluted with the heavy metals, bacteria, or harmful particles called uh, microcystins. Uh, in fact, microcystins are produced by blue-green algae as a defense mechanism against the predators. When consumed in high amount, they are toxic to your liver. So microcystins contaminate algae supplement have been found in Italy, North America, and China. 
and these compounds are growing public health concern due to their liver effects so spirulina growing in a control environment is lower in the microcystin as scientists have developed the method to re remove this compound as well as limit its productions thereafter maybe worsen our autoimmune conditions because spirulina uh, boost your immune system it may worsen contain the autoimmune disease such as lupus multiple sclerosis and uh, rheumatoid arthritis in which your immune systems attack your body so spirulina blocks uh, your immune system by strengthening the immune cells called the natural killer cell which attack the pursued threats on cellular level animal and human studies show that this effect may be slow tumor growth improve resistance to the illness and decrease the inflammation however by stenting the natural killer cell in people with the autoimmune conditions this algae may exacerbate these conditions so, so in that cases we have to avoid the consumption of spirulina spirulina supplements have also been linked to severe autoimmune response affecting the skin and muscles although these sides are, uh, these side effects appears to be very rare if you have a autoimmune conditions you should avoid the spirulina and other algae supplements so that is a precautions we have to take during the consumptions of the spirulina for our health benefits uh, it may also slow blood clotting so spirulina has an anti agglutinant effect meaning uh, that it can thin your blood and increase the length of time it take for blood to clot so clotting help prevent the excess bleeding Uh, bleeding or brushing when you are injured uh, for those taking up blood thinners or who have a bleeding disorders spirulina may be dangerous because it could be loss on your blood's ability to clot causing more brushing and bleeding while some studies suggest that spirulina does not affect blood clotting times little is known about its effects on people who are already taking blood thinners thus you should avoid spirulina if you have a bleeding disorders or on a blood thinners if you are taking other downsides of the consumption of spirulina is that some people may allergic to spirulina this severe uh, cases reactions can be fatal according to one study people uh, with uh, other allergic like uh, more likely to be react negatively to spirulina than those without other allergies to be safe those with allergies should avoid the supplements or consult your healthcare provider before using it spirulina and other algae also contain the phenyl uh, phenylalanine a compound that people with uh, phenylketonuria it's a big way a rare inherited condition should be strictly avoided so those people who have uh, uh, issues of the phenylketonuria so these people how to avoid the consumption of the Uh, such kind of uh, spirulina because it contain the phenylalanine and it causes the severe uh, side effect some of the major side effect of spirulina may include the nausea and insomnia and headache still this supplement is widely considered safe and most people experience no side effect so this is also depend on the person to person but most of the people have a very very good uh, effect of the health effect of the spirulina and it is a considered the safe safe but why the uh, spirulina is the side effect and why the downstream is there that is depend on the cultivation of the spirulina so spirulina may be contaminated with the harmful compounds uh, thin your blood and worsen autoimmune conditions so the some people may be allergic and those with the pick you should avoid it that is the one of precautions we have to take uh, during the consumption of the spirulina but how to avoid the side effects of spirulina as spirulina may have some drawbacks especially certain population it's the best to consult your healthcare provider before taking it to avoid spirulina that has been contaminated with the microcystins or toxins only purchase product from the status brands that have been trusted by third party organization or it may be a, as per the us pharmacopia consumer labs or nsb internationals or our indian pharmacopia uh keep in mind that even certified products may not be completely free of contaminants as dietary supplements are largely unregulated so purchasing from trusted brands can reduce the risk of contaminations however there is no guarantee that spirulina products are 100% contaminant free so we have to just trust on the uh, companies or the brand but the brand should be or the spirulina should be uh, cultivated in the very good conditions as per the Uh, proper government regulations and that kind of spirulina is always very 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 good for our health 
so the developments of spirino industry uh, that is the productions worldwide spirino alki production systems so we can discuss about it so over the past 13 years the spirino industry have been supplied by many small to large scale farms around the world using a wide range of algae production systems in the world so like lake harvesting of spirino growing in the natural lakes we have already taken examples of the lake chad which is in central america and throughout the world different kinds of lakes are uh, available uh, from which we can uh, cultivate the spirina and we can harvest the spirina and we can consume that kind of spirina from the lake commercial farms using the outdoor uh, respe pond systems are now uh, uh, people are using such kind of techniques as commercial uh, farms the enclose of photobioreactors tubular or tank systems are also available uh, in a various country or throughout the world then integrated commercial production farms are also now available then village farms is very popular in india village farms in the developing country with the appropriate technology so very good uh, so techniques for the cultivation of spirina then micro farms that is family and community size production system is also in india uh, in different parts of india these people are using this kind of techniques that is micro farms and family uh, and community production technology then if you see the scenery of the spirina in throughout the world chart is the what we can see the source of spirina and the un has uh, un has estimate annual production of at least uh, 250 dry tons per year sold on the local market in recent years improved harvesting and drying techniques have been introduced now then in mexico spirina grows naturally in the lake at texcoco near mexico city in the 19th and 17th century also sa texcoco built the first commercial facility to harvest and dry spirina and exporting to the usa and japan beginning in the 1979 a spirina mexicana was the la- world largest producer through the Uh, 19th 18th century but right now close in 1995 uh, thereafter myanmar uh, is one country commercial harvest begins in 1988 on several alkaline volcanic lakes that enjoy natural spirina blooms by seasonal harvesting and processing spirina from natural lakes myanmar pharmaceutical industry produce about 150 dry tons of spirina in 60 days from february to april each year dry chips tablets and packaged products products are distributed in myanmar So these are some pictures of the Mexico and Myanmar I have taken from the internet. Then the Sinotec is one of the renowned company in USA, Hawaii. A Sinotec opened in 1985 on the big islands of Hawaii with the capacity of 400 tons of the spirina per year, as well as hematococcus for astaxanthin for human and animal food supplements. Then Bansom's farm, it is in Thailand. Bunsen farm farms near Chiang Mai is a medium size of forty thousand uh, meter square. Of uh, it is a family owned spirina farm, producing a finished product for the regional markets in Thailand and Asian countries for the last twenty years. Bunsen farms is uh, promoted as a la- algae tourism destination, also offering a tour samples of spirina foods and spirina health spa. then in india you know a uh, parin nutraceuticals india uh, in 1990 india established the national standard specification for food grade spirina parin nutraceuticals began spirina production in tamil nadu in 1996 and expanded into astaxanthin from hematococcus into 2003 so these are the some pictures of the bunsen from thailand and the parin india uh, parin pharmaceuticals in india then hansen island it china is the largest producer of the uh, spirina then taiwan various farms are in uh, taiwan is settled and they produce the uh, spirina as well as chlorella also uh, as a, a food then other farms in a different countries like uh, australia cuba chile vietnam israel bangladesh philippines matinic uh, peru brazil spain portugal chad these countries are the good uh, spirina producer in the world Uh, some of the beside the uh, spirina chlorella farms are also uh, in different uh, countries they are manufacturing the chlorella also uh, in japan and china is the pioneer in the uh, chlorella and spirina production uh, some of the uh, 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 
farms in India also. A government-sponsored project in southern India provides the small backward basins to women for family nutrition with the goal to develop into the local village network to combat vitamin A and general immunodeficiency conditions. India has conducted a joint efforts with the many government agencies covering all aspects of Pirina, from simple cultivation basins to large-scale commercial farms. The government has sponsored large-scale nutrition studies with the animals and humans and has instigated therapeutic uses also. Family and community micro farms are also in India. So a common request over the past 30 years is how can I grow spirina at home or in my community? And definitely yes. So government is also giving guidance to you also. Yeah, how can we cultivate it at your home? So today micro farms are uh, springing up around the world. Over these past decades, over 50 small spirina producers how Amherst crossed in the France in 2004. A Spirina school was established at CPPA, uh, is a center deformations perpendicular at depromotions agricole in uh, uh, France. In 2010, most of the French producer becomes member of the uh, this uh, CPPA, and they also established their own laboratories and certified from the HSCPA, and uh, producing the good quality of the Spirina in their country. Uh, thereafter, so these are the some research uh, based evidences uh, which are already published in renowned journals. See how spirina is good for uh, health. So these paper, uh, papers are published in the PubMed, then the uh, scientific reports, and uh, uh, many more journals. Uh, this is my one paper. I'm basically working on the Spirina from the Lonar Lake. It is a very popular lake in the uh, India, basically in the Maharashtra, which is in Lonar, in the districts. So I basically added, isolated some Spirina species uh, from the Lonar Lake and I studied its phytochemical uh, contents and its antibacterial uh, properties. It's very good antibacterial also, I found. Then the uh, next uh, is very most important uh, concept that key, if you if the spirona is very good uh, health benefits and what are the business opportunity for the young one so as per the government policy you know uh, atma nirbhar india so you each and every youth or young uh, student or scientist has to be think on it key. how our knowledge and how our research will be get convert into the uh, startup that is one very good challenge in front of us so on that line, we have to work out. So uh, I hope these sessions will be uh, more helpful for you. So uh, after that, we can go for how can we start up our um, business uh, in a spirina sector. So if you see the scenario of the uh, markets of the spirina in the world, so spirina programs are currently being implemented in the various countries like Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Guyana, Kanakre, Kenya, Madagascar, Mali, Niger, India, and Vietnam. These are the very good Spirina producer in the country, in the world, sorry. So see if the picture is see, the high uh, producer are in a uh, central and uh, American countries and the Asian countries and the African uh, countries are uh, good players of the Spirina producer. This report of the uh, 2018. Then, uh, what are the basically markets uh, of the Spirina product? So, the market products around the world in the over 40 countries uh, and the different types of products in the market like tablets, powder, and capsules are widely used in the supplementary. Spirina is a feature ingredient in a pasta, cookies, snack bars, juice drinks, and personal care products like skin creams and the shampoos. Look for it uh, in a innovative spit supplements for fish aquatic animals, birds, cats, and dogs, natural foods colors from Spirina have been used in Japan for years. So, and this is the most important thing I would like to uh, inform that we, means we through all the worlds are now facing the uh, COVID-19 pandemic situation. And if you see the, if you uh, see the analysis of the COVID-19 report by different uh, uh, analysis agency, the outbreaks of the pandemic has had an impact on the working of various manufacturing and production unit. Definitely. The spread of the pandemic, the degree of spread, the adverse effect, as well as the death rate has raised major questions related to the 
healthcare systems of develop developing as well as under developed economics and has raised concern related to the community uh, immunity systems and this is fighting ability of the human body so there are uh, there has been a subsequent increase in the demand for immunity boosters for people to fight the pandemic so different types of uh, immunity boosters uh, booster foods as well as the medicines available in the market but these uh, immuno boosters or the uh, products is reduced to adverse effect of the corona virus and build a stronger immunity in the general for fighting this disease immunity is of foremost improvement uh, importance and thus the demand of proteins and similar supplement is increasing in the global market that is a very important factors in the covid-19 analysis the governments of various economics are investing uh, in the research and development initiative to develop the immunity boosters available to their populations also the widespread demand is pushing the key market players to develop spina supplement in the bulk to meet the supply chain mechanism expectation this is playing a major role in helping the temporarily shut manufacturing business to begin with their productions and supply once again this demand is further helping the workers to get back to their jobs in the productions line and help the global market recover from the losses of the pandemic period so that is the situation right now we uh, are facing and this is a one very good opportunity for young one so those uh, who want to start their startup they have to take a proper training for the cultivation of spirina and they can start their uh, small business and they can earn some money from their business and they can provide the uh, opportunity to someone for the uh, how for the uh, financial uh, source so there are various examples in india they already started their business in a spirina cultivations uh, if i take up one example of successful business initiative revolving the uh, spirina productions so is one lady uh, having a age of 40 she is uh, cultivating the spirina at home and uh, she produces uh, near about uh, 100 kg spirina per month and what she did uh, she did she packed the spirina in dry form up to 2 grams sachets and sold to the local ngos the spirina is also combined with the millets and jaggery and sesam to produce a chikki a type of energy bar to feed 2000 children per day uh, from slums into the neighborhood at this scale of production the facility is extremely efficient and produce at cost of 0.0 per euro per ch- child per day so they currently uh, Uh, do not sell in the open market as they requires more management and marketing skill however this is beginning work on but some of the well known uh, spirina producer in india they are already started for the production of spirina they are at uh, companies or their industries and they uh, produce a very variety of products of spirina and they are right now in the market for selling their products in a different uh, food sector so so agro agri clinics and agro business centers in india or central sector scheme started by the government of india in 2002 to attract the educated youth in the agriculture sector for creations of self employment opportunities along with the providing extension services to the farmers and basically this is scheme of the government of india and and if you take the uh, two month residential training at any icr a uh, research center uh, basically it is one the one center is icr indian institute of military research in hyderabad and any kvk so most of the uh, source of training of this uh, spirina cultivation is the kvk kvk is the uh, uh, krushi vigyan kendra which is already a, a very nearest to us, uh, us that is a bableshwar uh, after training you can start a agro business and commerce spirina production you need to uh, register spirina product under the FSA license. You need to take a FSA license because it is come up under the uh, food category. So that kind of license mandatory mandatory for the startups or the business uh, or entrepreneurs. Then the spirina is very high micronutrients and uh, easy and cheap produce locally. And uh, as you know, we already discuss about the what kind of health benefits of the spirina and how it is the top super food. Uh, but uh, we need to take a proper training uh, for the productions of the spirulina for the uh, cultivation of the and har- harvesting of the spirulina to avoid the contamination of the spirulina and thereafter we can start our business so if you uh, see the uh, business point of view uh, and if you see the current scenario of the spirulina from 
2024 the we have to uh, just know about the what are the health benefits of spirulina then the growing uh, use of spirulina uh, to fight the obesity but it is a very uh, genuine uh, um, of issues of the throughout the world of obesity and uh, we know it's a wide application of the spirulina so on these three dri uh, drivers we can focus our products in the market uh, but some of the barriers are there in the uh, community uh, the people are very less um, knowledge about the spirulina some of the people doesn't know what is spirulina so we have to create the awareness among the people about the health benefits of spirulina and if you see the um, uh, example or sinner of the uh, spirulina market in throughout the world so asia specific then the europe the north america latin america middle east africa uh, these are the countries where the spirulina is get cultivated and the manufacture a variety of products and selling their products in a different food sector so this is a global uh, uh, market of the spirulina extract also uh, there is a report i have taken from the modern intelligence uh, then uh, spirulina market if you see uh, we, we already uh, discuss about the what are the factors on which we have to uh, concentrate and what are the market potential of the spirulina uh, if you see the powder tablets capsules and flakes and the phycosanin extract is the very good uh, category of the products from the spirulina and as you know its applications are the nutraceuticals food and beverages agriculture animal feed and cosmetic also and if you see the geographically uh, all the countries throughout the world are uh, have a very huge demand of the spirulina uh, then the uh, if you see the key, key market or key segment, uh, segments of the spirulina basically two uh, uh, types of the spirulina are there the uh, anthrospira plantasis that is a spirulina plantasis also and spirulina maximum maxima is also but the plantas is very popular and easy to convert uh, in some countries maxima is also used in india also spirulina uh, maxima is uh, uh, using by various industries and various research is also carried out under these two species by application of the spirulina uh, nutraceutical food and uh, beverages cosmetic animal feeds and other also and what kind of uh, formulations are available or we can go for the formulation definitely powder tablets liquids capsules granules and gelling agents are available and top regions are uh, where the market is available that is the united states of america canada mexico then european countries like germany france italy uk spain uh, some of the asian countries like china japan india and some lamia countries uh, that is brazil latin american countries that is uh, brazil south africa and rest of the lamia so the, this is the then the how the net another question is, is in our mind uh, sir yes if we uh, take uh, uh, um, uh, spirulina cultivations uh, training of the spirulina cultivation then how can we start up our business so there are the lot of agencies are available they can guide you and uh, if you go to the uh, website of Deber, uh, department of science and technology so uh, temperature budget is also given ki how can we cult, um, cultivate spirulina and how much cost is basically needed to start your business or uh, to start your small startup so that uh, this data i have taken from the website of department of science and technology as per the uh, data of 2019 uh, if you want to start a business then the you need to construct the pond of size uh, 10 by 20 and required uh, about 20 such pond and then we can uh, cultivate 2 kg uh, weight culture per day and uh, it should be noted that 1 kg weight culture will give a 100 grams of the dry powder and based on this uh, on average 20 tanks spirulina farming business will generate the 4 to 5 kg of dry spirulina powder on a daily basis the production of spirulina in a uh, month will be around 100 to 130 kg per month and uh, if you see the current rate of the uh, spirulina powder available in the market that is the 600 rupees kg and if you started such kind of business by making the different 20 ponds then you can earn a 40 to 45000 per month so the farmers and the young one can start such kind of business uh, for more benefits by increasing the tanks you can increase the tank um, made with the low cost durable materials and so this is depend on the type of material you can use 
uh, numbers of time uh, tanks you can use or the ponds you can use according to that uh, according to that definitely your uh, income will be get increase so this is a uh, so one uh, tentative chart uh, of productions of the uh, spin of farming uh, i have taken from the dst and you can search uh, you can visit to dst uh, website uh, so this is some calculation we taken here how much cost for the uh, pond is required near about 1 lakh is required for the 20 uh, for ponds and plant machinery is uh, required laboratory equipment is required uh, water treatment plant is required for the filtration of the water then piping work electrical work drying screens and uh, harvesting material packaging material so uh, near about uh, 12 lakh 50 thousands approximately cost is required uh, if you start your business and uh, uh, sale of spirulina if you consider uh, per kg as 600 rupees per kg so your income definitely will be good and by considering all these factors uh, you can earn uh, near about uh, 40 to uh, 45000 per month by uh, by considering all the expenditure for the uh, during the uh, spirulina productions so this is the uh, little bit um, uh, focus on the uh, starting of the your business in uh, productions uh, of the spirulina then the uh, the another question is mind ki sir what are the other uh, top most spirulina products available in the market and top most spirulina producer in the uh, producer or the top most spirulina players in the india so definitely the best spirulina supplement like is the now uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, now foods is there i know w now foods is a brand of spirulina peri peri wellness is very uh, popular brand in india a uh, pari pharmaceuticals then himalayan organic foods uh, is another brand so in the india then noas is the uh, rich vitamins beside vitamins is also manufacturing a such kind of spirulina and they are they have a various type of uh, spirulina products and uh, beside uh, these the top most uh, players of spirulina producers and sellers in india uh, there are various uh, value added products uh, of uh, spirulina also available in india uh, not only in india throughout the world such kind of products are available in the form of biscuits chocolates and even ice cream also so these are the some pictures i have uh, added in my slide my presentations like uh, ice cream then the chocolates biscuit and uh, one another one indian product like is the madhuram which is in uh, south india then spirna ragi biscuit is very good and uh, chapatis also and uh, spirna if you add it in the flour wheat flours or the any other grains so uh, spirona based chapati is very popular in the india so these are the some value added products from the spirulina and uh, then uh, as you know uh, cftri uh, council of scientific and industry research uh, in uh, mysore and the this is a mysore based uh, uh, government uh, organizations and they uh, develop the spirulina coconut chikki you know and that can be provide the micronutrients and the boost immunity of people during that time of pandemic so this is a very latest news uh, published in last year 2020 20 uh, they prepared uh, such kind of groundnut chikki uh, based uh, spirulina product and uh, so they uh, cftr has uh, distributed such kind of chikki in the community so it is very rich in the vitamin c beta carotenes and other uh, vitamins and minerals rich uh, uh, products uh, and it was introduced by the uh, cftr director dr ksm uh, raghav uh, then after that uh, uh, various skin products are avail available in the throughout the world uh, for example a spirulina mask is there spirulina scrub is there then the uh, different uh, so the algal factory is the one top most uh, spirulina uh, uh, based uh, productions uh, um, products are uh, manufactured at that industries uh, and uh, last bit uh, not least uh, this is uh, our student uh, mr rushikesh he is my student of uh, bsc so uh, basically i have also taken a training of spirulina cultivations from kvk bableshwar and uh, from 2010 to till date i am working on spirulina i am cultivating spirulina in my laboratory and i am giving a training to the student in house training to the student and uh, the results of this uh, spirulina cultivations uh, my students have taken a training at my college and he has started his own uh, one startup uh, by the name of spirutech healthcare 
and this product is uh, right now available in the india mart and very soon it will be available in the flipkart and amazon also so this is a um, very uh, small startup uh, we started at nc level uh, my intention is uh, just uh, uh, motivate the student of biology background or any other background who are who want to use their knowledge and convert the knowledge to their for the internship so this is little bit uh, informations about the uh, spirulina and uh, most another important things i would like to inform that uh, we have our one microgeve talks uh, a group uh, i am basically i am a microbiologist and i have created one uh, platform that is uh, microgeve talks so it is a better living through better microbes so uh, whatever the microorganisms it may be a spirulina it may be a probiotics or any other um, so that uh, knowledge we have we are uh, spreading through the uh, to the students or the small entrepreneurs or the small startup uh, uh, so they can uh, take uh, such kind of knowledge and they can uh, start their small business so this is uh, little about you can call me you can contact me uh, on my whatsapp group also if you need any further information about the spirulina and uh, any other uh, startup essential if you need so uh, really thanks to uh, mulla education society's art commerce and science college sonai